Hi, this is your host Apil Bharatiya and today we have with us once again Kapil Thangavallu, creator of Cloud Custodian and co-founder and CTO of Stacklet. Kapil, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks. Happy to be back. Yeah, and it's good news. Uh, Cloud Custodian is moving to CNCF incubation. Uh, before we talk about what does it mean for the community, for the company, for the user base, I would like to remind our viewers what is Cloud Custodian all about. So Cloud Custodian is a YAML-based rules engine for doing cloud governance. Um, and uh, it will allow you to, and against a given cloud provider, find some interesting set of resources uh, via arbitrary filtering, uh, then take a, a set of actions on them. Um, and those filters and actions are a your policy language, and they go together like Lego bricks to form many different types of policies from cost, governance, security, compliance, operations. And then it also includes in within its it a built-in serverless provisioning framework, which we use to provision policies as uh, event-based so that they can operate in real time against API calls as they're happening. So remediation as a first-class citizen, simple YAML DSL you can do and that you uh, treat in the same way that you do infrastructure as code, you now can treat your policy as code. Excellent. What kind of adoption are you seeing of governance as code in general? And what kind of industries if specifically? So I, I can speak to the Clock Studian user base, um, of which there are thousands of production users across every industry and sector. I, I would say that um, Governance is a big tent, that, and that is inclusive of many different, you know, needs that an organization has uh, to be well managed. Uh, and so you see startups doing things with cost optimization or, or operations or taking off hours for their, their resources. So I think, you know, there's definitely something there for all users of cloud once they get to a certain size with regards to infrastructure no longer fitting in a single person's head or having multiple teams. Um, and so Custodian is really designed to let those users pick whatever tools they want, but make sure that the organization policies are in effect regardless of, of those tool and technology choices. Um, so we see, you know, from a sector space, like we see startups, we see, you know, fintech, we see big tech, we see traditional uh, uh, healthcare companies, insurance companies, et cetera, um, oil and gas, like you, you name it. It's sort of a, a cross section across whoever's using cloud. Excellent. Now let's talk about the CNCF side of the story, which is uh, incubation. The project, you know, is already being used in the industry. And that's something interesting with open source projects like these is that. So what does the incubation really mean, not only for, of course, you folks, but also for the users and the, the, the community, which is helping build the project? Yeah, so um, the CNCF has multiple levels of, of from sandbox to incubation to graduated. Um, and the CNCF itself as an organization provides additional resources to the projects as they progress along that path, both in the form of marketing, um, at their various conferences, uh, including direct resources to the project for everything from pest, pen testing um, to you know, CI infrastructure, et cetera. Um, and so the process was, you know, fairly long, and a lot of that process is there to help ensure that projects are successful, that they have good governance as they graduate through. Um, Custodian is maybe a little bit um, Odd in that it was already fairly mature and with thousands of production users and lots of contributors and you know maintainers across multiple organizations uh, when we were in in sandbox itself or from from our very inception in CNCF we, we came with a robust mature community um, and so that process itself has been you know working with the um, technical advisory group for security tech security to do a security review. So and that's been that process was long, um, and but you know it was also very useful to have those artifacts documented. Um, I recently had to re reply to um, a security inquiry from a um, from one of the cloud providers about one of their customers that was concerned about open source and security and supply chain security, and so we were able to hand them the artifacts that we'd already produced for the tag security and the CNCF security review. Um, so, you know, from a 
from a larger perspective, I think it, it really signifies sort of the larger adoption of cloud custodian as well as the assurances that organizations can have of having a trusted home for the, their core critical assets that they depend on. So having the CNCF um, as a foundation, as an umbrella that provides all these resources and provides um, some assurances to, to organizations with regards to the long-term uh, governance and health of the project and, and assets uh, is super useful. Um, and so one thing that's been really nice is that we've had so many of our contributors have already come in from, we're already members of the CNCF. So it was very pain, uh, painless on ramp for some of those um, contributors. Yeah, and CNCF has a really welcoming and nice, you know, ecosystem community that many can kind of even envy. And a lot of cross pollination also happens there. A lot of projects, which are, as you mentioned, you know, so a lot of companies projects are there. Uh, it, it's in incubation. What is the next step, you know? And once again, you know, they have their own processes in place, but is there any effort needed from your end, the end of the maintainers, the creators to ensure that, you know, not ensure, but, that you know, it moves to the next phase, which could be the graduation or whatever the process is there. Yeah, so I mean, from a CNCF perspective, uh, it's unfortunate we uh, we have a, a fantastic community manager, uh, George Castor, who has uh, worked at a lot of large uh, worked at, uh, for a long many years with the CNCF community, um, and I think we're ready to. And he's been sort of driving on these efforts, and we'll, we're looking to go with directly into graduating within a year um, and just following through on the process. So that is getting some additional validation with regards to how many production users there are, or some that's with regards to having, you know, um, documented governance structures in place, um, having a neutral base of uh, maintainers that have committed access. So all, all things that we frankly have already, we already meet on the requirements perspective. So it's really just a question of shepherding through the processes and, um, and uh, then we'll see where we go from there. Now on the project side, we have a ton of roadmap uh, and as far as what we're looking forward to in the future, um, that relies on, that covers off on some additional uh, cloud providers that we're starting to integrate in. Uh, the most recent one that just went into last release was uh, Tencent directly contributed by uh, Tencent themselves. Um, and then we're also adding in support for Richard support for Kubernetes uh, both the mission controller, uh, you know, validating, mutating, in addition to our existing support. And then we're finally starting to uh, make some real traction on our shift left capabilities of being able to evaluate infrastructure as code uh, in its source form. Um, and so, you know, we feel like having that single lingua, lingua de Franco, uh, sorry, lingua de Franco of uh, uh, governance tooling that can apply across the wide spectrum of assets um, is really helpful for, for users to be able to have uh, a great experience regardless of what their governance and uh, needs are that they want to apply to. Kapil, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about Cloud Custodian is, you know, uh, moving to the incubation phase of CNCF. And I would love to talk to you again soon. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.